Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, I'm out at the property. I've been doing a bunch of odds and ends, filling feeders, things like that. But I have a two-man stand here uh, that's off screen. I'll show you all that in a second. But I'm gonna be in the garage. It's about 97 outside. Um, and just didn't wanna do it outside like I did the last one. Uh, if, if you have the game winner tripod, check out the video in the link up here. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Today I'm gonna to be doing the game winner quad pod, the two man quad pod. Um, and I'm gonna try and put this together myself for the most part. I've built one of these already and uh, we ended up using two people. And I think you may need two people to set it up for sure, but I'm gonna try and build it myself and then put it on a trailer and we'll bring it out to where it's going um, because I really just don't want to build it in the heat today. But I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm also testing out my new camera and the audio thing that it came with. So uh, hopefully y'all can hear me all right. I have an external mic as well, just in case. I don't know the exact tools you're going to need just yet, but uh, I've got a crescent wrench set. Um, and some other tools in here and I'll call them out as I uh, pull them out and use them so you know exactly what's needed. So it's pretty nicely packaged here. Nothing's moved around too much. And then they do a good job of packaging everything in the, uh, all the similar pieces together. So as you can see, you know, these three are packaged together that are same. What I like to is lay them out uh, in the order of the numbers. Each each item is numbered, um, and that'll help you uh, down the road when you're building this to be able to grab the right piece. Definitely going to need a knife as they have a bunch of zip ties and stuff in here. All your uh, instructions and bolts are in uh, one bag here. All right, so I have all the parts laid out. Try to put them in numerical order for the most part. Kind of tough to do. But that's everything in the box. And then you have your all your screws, nuts, directions there. What's really nice is they put all the hardware in separate bags for each step. So what I like to do is go through and put every bag in order so that it's easy to grab the correct bag for the correct step. So for this step, you're going to want to take the two platforms that you have and lay them on the ground. I like to start with these upside down. And then you're going to grab your two long braces, which are item number four. And we'll go ahead and install these using two bolts on each of them. And you put the bolt from the underside up through the brace and the nut will be on the top. And at this point, I don't think you want to tighten these all the way down because you're gonna want a little bit of play in it and then I'll let you know when you need to tighten it down. So then next you're going to grab the shorter platform braces, number five, and basically do the exact same thing. So in step number two, you're gonna take platform number two and connect it to your braces basically the same way you did with platform number one. And you're gonna use the screws from step number two bag. One thing that I just noticed is you want this little divot dip part to be where your bolt goes and the other flat part to be against the uh, platform. And so I think I'm gonna actually have to redo a couple of these here to make sure that it's correct. For step three, you will secure the two platforms together using the bolts in the step three bag. I don't think it really matters which way the bolt and nut are on this one. So you can go ahead and just put them in from left to right. Once you get all these in, you'll need to securely tighten all the loose bolts, including the ones that are holding your brace to your platform. If it's tough to get to some of these bolts to tighten, you can stand it up to make it a little bit easier. So for your step four, you're gonna grab item number six the three uh, leg attachments. And so for this one, you need to make sure you know where the holes are going and which ways going down. And so you'll attach it to the platform 
with that leg facing out and your bolt will come in through the top of the platform or for me it would be on the underside here and up through the leg and then your nut goes on top and you can go ahead and tighten all these down as well. So the next part of step four is gonna be adding the ladder, which is uh, part nine. And so you're gonna put the ladder like this and you're gonna take the two shorter bolts that were in that package and the bolts will go from the outside to the end and you'll use the nuts and you can go ahead and tighten this down as well. So you'll need to go ahead and flip this over for step five, where you're going to attach the seat post bottom, which is item number 19 to your platform using the four bolts that come in this step five bag. You're also gonna need the washers. And so it's gonna go bolt, washer, through the seat post, through the platform, washer, and then a nut. And you can go ahead and securely tighten all the hardware. For step six, you're gonna attach the three vertical corner supports, item number 23, to your platform legs. And you're gonna use the longer bolts for these. And you wanna make sure that the way you're attaching it, the support will go straight up. And you wanna make sure the side with the all the holes in it is facing in because that is how you will raise and lower your railing and on these the bolts will go from the outside through your leg supports and the nut will be on the inside of the platform then to continue on step six you're going to take your vertical entry supports item number 22 and these will go over by where the ladder sits and you're going to use your shorter bolts for these again you want to make sure that all the holes are facing inside towards the middle of the platform for step seven, you're gonna to need to grab the two long support braces and the two short support braces. This is item 16 and 17. And you're going to install the long ones on the long side and the short ones will go from the ladder to the corner side as well. And these will overlap each other. So they need to actually go on the outside of your support leg. So like I mentioned, when you get to the corners, you're gonna to have to overlap like this and you'll stick your bolt through both the support braces and then through the hole on your bracket there and the nut on the other side. So the next thing on step seven is to go grab the four angled support braces, which is item 15. And you'll attach that from your long support brace down to the platform and you'll use the shorter bolts for attaching these. On this bracket you'll go inside the horizontal brace and then on the outside of the platform. Once you get this put together you can go ahead and tighten all the loose hardware and make sure that it is snug. For step eight we're going to be assembling the shooting rail. So you're going to need the long parts, two long parts which is 13, two short parts, which is 14, the entry part, which is item 30, and then your shooting rail corner hubs, which is item number 26. And then you also need the entry hub, which is item number 25. And in this, all your bolts should be the same length, so there's no need to worry about using a longer or shorter bolt. And we can go ahead and start putting this together. So for this one, I'm actually going to put the corner hubs in first and attach it that way. I think they recommended kind of doing it on the ground and then attaching it. But with it just being me doing this, I am going to start by putting all the corner hubs in, which is item 25 and item 26, I believe. And then I'll start putting in your brackets, which will be item 13. 14 and 30. You may have to loosen up the corner hubs to get these to fit correctly with the way I'm doing it. Step nine just talks about attaching the shooting rail, which I kind of combined step eight and nine. You can move these push buttons up and down if you need to. 
depending on the height you want, but I would just wait and do that once you get it set up. And then you can attach the shooting rail pads now like they recommend if you want. But again, I'm just gonna wait and do that once I get it set up in the field. So steps 10 through 16, I'm actually gonna go ahead and skip because that's all stuff I'm gonna do in the field when I get some help to install this because looking at it, I don't think I can do this by myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to step 17. So for step 17, you're gonna start with the seat assembly, which is item 21. There's two of those. You can just unroll them and set them down. And then you're gonna take the seat frame, item 20, and you're gonna put that over top of the seat assemblies, which is 21. I don't think there is a specific way to do this. I think the seat assembly is pretty symmetrical, so you can go ahead and just set that down. And then you will take your bolts and your bolts will go from the outside to the inside. It'll go through the assembly, the seat, and then you'll put a washer and a nut on the inside. Once you have everything started, you can go ahead and tighten these securely down, which will put some tension on the seats. You may have to set the seat up on its side or move it around a little bit because it's kind of hard to get into these bolts. For step 18, you're going to attach the top seat post, which is actually item number 18, to the seat frame using the four bolts in the step 18 bag. And you're actually going to go from the underside like this. You're going to have a bolt, a washer, through the seat frame, through the seat post, and then a nut on that side. For step 19, you're going to take the two angled seat braces, item number 29, and attach that to the seat post and seat frame using the two bolts inside of the step 19 bag. So the longer bolts are going to go through the seat frame and the shorter bolts are going to go through the seat post. I had a little trouble on one of these. It was very tight and I was able to get one bolt through it but the other hole didn't really quite line up the seat post and so I ended up not putting a bolt in there. It seems pretty sturdy. I got everything else to tighten down nicely so I don't think it's the end of the world but I was a little surprised because I haven't had this issue on any of their stands before. Step 20 is pretty simple. You just need to attach the seat and slide it onto the rail on the platform. It does show you using a, a pull line to bring it up to the top of it, but obviously I'm still on the ground, so I don't need to do that. You can just attach it to the platform. Step 21 is the two backrests, items 24. You can go ahead and attach those to your seats. So you just slide that round piece over there, slides right on, no parts needed. Then you take your chair backs and you put them on um, they have little clips what's kind of cool is if you wanted to sit opposite directions you can go ahead and do that and just flip one of these around right now i've got it set up so that you're facing the same direction that's pretty much all i can do while inside without help so when my parents got there we went ahead and packed up and moved to the location i wanted to place the stand for step 10, you're going to need the help of a couple people. You're just going to tip the platform onto its side and insert the two top legs, which is item number 7, into the attachment points. And you're also going to need bracket number 49. So you're going to want to attach the number 49 piece, that's this guy right here, to the leg as well. And you're going to bolt bracket 49 that is curving in towards the center of the platform, not out. And I would not tighten this all the way down at this point. For step 11, you're going to lift it up on the other side and attach the last item number seven leg into the bracket. And again, don't forget to use item 49 facing in as well. For the second part of step 11, you're gonna insert the top ladder section, number 27, into the ladder platform and you're going to attach brace item number 50. So for the ladder you're going to attach this piece here, your other brace. This brace goes on the outside of your ladder 
and it faces, and it points towards the opposite legs. At this time, you can securely tighten all the loose hardware. All right, for step 12, you're going to, again, push the tripod on its side. You're gonna attach the two ladder sections using the shorter bolts in the bag. You're gonna attach the leg sections together using the longer bolts, the two and one quarter inch bolts. You're also going to need to attach the brackets for the bracing. So you need item 49 and 50. Item 49 is gonna to attach to the bottom of the leg using the longer bolt. And then your item 50 is gonna to attach to the bottom of the ladder. So you'll need two of these, one on each side of the ladder. And you're going to use the one and three quarter inch bolts, which are the shorter bolts here. For step number 13, you're going to pivot the platform so that you can fit the other two leg brackets in there, which is number eight into item number seven. Again, make sure your foot pads are pointing outward and you will use the two and one quarter bolts to attach those legs together. You're also going to need the bracket number 49 to attach to the bottom of both legs that you just installed. At this point, you can go ahead and tighten down all the loose hardware. For step 14, you wanna go ahead and start putting your cross braces together. You're going to grab items one, 10, 11, and 12, and you need to attach 10 to item one, 11 to item one, and 12 to item one. That'll create a short, a medium, and a long bracket. You'll have four of the long brackets, two of the medium brackets, and two of the short brackets. You can go ahead and securely tighten all the loose hardware for this as well. For step number 15, you're gonna take your four long cross braces, which is item one and item 10, and you're gonna attach that to the bracket attachments that you have on the legs. These four brackets will go on the two longer sides, not the ladder side of your platform. And you'll attach from the bottom to the top. I bolted them on the inside of the brackets. I don't know if it matters too much. And you may need to move the legs or have somebody help pull the leg in to be able to get this to reach. And the bolt will go from the outside of the platform to the inside of the platform. For step 16, you're gonna take your two medium and your two short cross braces. So that's items one and 11 for the medium and one and 12 for the short. The medium cross brace will go from the bottom of your leg to the top of your ladder on both sides. The short cross brace will go from the top of your leg to the bottom of your ladder. You can go ahead and bolt these together. And at this time you can go ahead and go all the way around all the bracing and tighten it down. I went ahead and installed the shooting pads that go on the shooting rail next. Now that this was all built, it was time to move it into position. Using some clippers and a pole saw, we then cleared some shooting paths. So we have a watering hole back over here. You can kind of see the edge of it. I'm gonna plant some winter wheat right in there. And then my mock scrapes kind of over there. And that's also gonna be winter wheat. I'm gonna leave this tree here for cover if they're walking down that lane. And they'll either turn into here, into my shooting lane, or if they keep going straight, they'll turn into that shooting lane. All right, so as you can see, it takes more than one person to do this specific stand. I was able to get the top part myself, but bringing it out here, getting the legs and everything on takes at least two, maybe, uh, maybe get away with two, but at least three people. Um, but I'm gonna put the stakes in here to secure it down. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.